here we are at Park Run in St Andrews and uh, we're not really running. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been here, I've been doing a speed walk and uh, kind of coming in about 37 38 minutes, which isn't bad for walking. So these speedy lead runners. So the thing is that with a perineal tendon problem, uh, you really can't afford to be stretching the tendon and uh, Achilles uh, is also a wee bit troublesome so that means uh, absolutely no pressure uh, going on it so, so the physio said it was perfectly okay to start doing a jog walk but to be honest I'm a wee bit worried about that I don't want to take any chances here, yeah, that's um, February, March, April, May, four months that I've been having this problem plus um, I was out with the flu in January so that's five months that I haven't been running so when I'm coming back it's got to be dead easy just a little bit baby step at a time so the whole point of this uh, new series that I'm going to be recording is just to look at that uh, that process and so if now is the end of May morning now is the end of May and we've got until October October to there so that's five months that we've got until um, I think I can reasonably expect to be running another marathon so over that next five months we'll just see how things go, I'll show you what we've been doing to get back to fitness, uh, show the progress of um, how the tendinopathy has been overcome and rectified, how it survives uh, the comeback and uh, generally what we can learn from it. Um, so the plan is to as you can see, start off very, very conservatively and uh, just take things even more conservatively in the hope that uh, as we start to get back running and get the distance built up, uh, there should be no more problems. Okay. Right, so that's um, us done our first lap and that's been uh, just under 13 minutes, so we're looking for about 38, 39 minutes. Um, to walk around the park run. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you get notifications of all new content.